Ooh, welcome back to the Patrick O'Shea Road to the Show. Here at MLE 15, the show. This is episode 10, and we are here at Miller Park in Milwaukee. Along with the Milwaukee Brewers in the top of the fourth. Patty's up 0 for 1 on the day. Down 4 to 1. Nobody on, nobody out. Here comes the 1 2. As Patty rips it into the right center gap, that will roll past the right fielder who cannot handle it. But he will only be credited with a single as Patty will stretch it into third, but they will count it as I guess it was a single and then he committed an error, so he only gets counted with a single on the play. But he's on third here with one out, and that's ripped down the right field line. That lands fair, and Patty just going to jog his way into home plate. As Patty scores a run, a demon on the base paths, I'll tell you what. One for two on the day now, top of the six, five to three ball game. Milwaukee still in the lead as Patty comes up with nobody on, no outs. The two one count. Here it comes. And Patty goes deep, right field. That's high, that's far, that's deep, but it's into the glove of the right fielder, Logan Schaefer. Go up and get it, young fella, robs Patty O'Shea. Of a home run, and the Braves do come out on top 10 to 5, shellacking the Atlanta Braves as Patty goes 1 for 4 yet again. Why is Patty only going 1 for 4? What's the deal? Anyway, now we're here at Coors Field, home of the Colorado Rockies, the Rocky Mountain Way. Top of the sixth, Patty's up, Braves up 1 0, 1 out, nobody on. The 0 1 from Tyler Matzek as Patty. Goes in the right center gap, that'll land, roll to the wall as Patty heads into second, and he's going to hold up at second base as the throw will come in, but Patty's got himself a double into the right center gap, and once again, why is Patty always going one for four? He can't get hits, what's the deal? And he goes one for four yet again. Another game against the Rockies here, heading 205 now, three home runs, 17 RBIs. Top of the first inning. One on, two outs, the 0 1 pitch. It goes up the middle. Patty O'Shea with a single. Runner moves up the second. And Patty O'Shea has himself a base knock on his first at bat of the ball game. So now he comes up for a second at bat. One for one of the day. Average bumped up to 2 11. Nobody on, two outs. Braves up 2 0. What does Patty do? Patty does what Patty does. He gets a base hit. He gets two base hits in the game. What's the deal? I don't know why I keep doing that. It's like Dirty Soprano jokes. But, not Soprano. Seinfeld, not Soprano. Soprano jokes. You know, if you've seen Soprano. Uh, si if you've ever seen Seinfeld, it's, uh, it's pretty much, what's the deal? All those kinds of jokes. As Patty swipes second base as Michael McHenry, I believe is the name, drops the ball. And then Patty goes and swipes third, too. Great jump, stealing second and third. And Patty picks up two stolen bases. And he would eventually not be driven in. So now the Braves are up 2-1, to one, top of the fifth, one on, two outs. The 2-2 two, two count. Here it comes as Patty takes it to deep left center. That's back to the track, and it's going to bounce off the wall, or up off the warning track grass over the wall, as Patty's got himself a ground rule double. And what do you know? Patty O'Shea, the Irishman, is the player of the game. He picked up two singles, got a stolen base, got a grand little double. He was spreading them all over the field, being a demon on the base pass as usual. What's the deal? I really think I got to saying that. But Patty O'Shea picks up the player of the game award against the Colorado, Colorado Rockies going 3 for 4 in the day. Like I said, two stolen bases, two singles, and a ground rule a double, which possibly could have been a triple. But now we're at home at Turner Field in Hot Atlanta. To take on the Chicago Cubs. The Chicago Cubs. Here in the bottom half of the first. Runner on third. Two outs. And bottom half of the first. Patty's first at bat of the ball game. Down one nothing, And Patty's going to draw a walk. To make it runners on first. And third the corners. And what does Patty do when he has a base open? And he's on base. Well, he proceeds to swipe second. That's what he does. Patty O'Shea with another stolen base. That is what he does, but unfortunately he goes 0 for 3 on the day. Which is uh, quite unfortunate. He goes 0 for 3 on the day, but he does swipe the base. Now we'll pick things up in a game against the Chicago Cubs once again. 
in Hotlander. So, bottom half of the fifth inning. 0-2 on the day with two pop-outs because he just pops up, pops up, pops up, pops up, grounds out. And now, down by three. I mean, down three to, up three to two. Not uh, down. Up three to two to the Cubs as Patty goes gapping. Scores one. We'll score two as Patty heads into third, sliding with a triple as Patty O'Shea got himself a two RBI triple. Fine pitch of that solid contact. And he puts the Braves in the lead even more. They would eventually come out on top. Six to three as Patty goes one for four. What's the deal? Once again, another one for. And now we'll pick things up in another series in Hot Lanta, but this time against the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's Dodger baseball. We have Lynn Scully on the Dodger Radio Network. So Patty comes up for his first at bat in the bottom half of the second, leading off the bottom half of the second. 2 0 count, nobody on, no out. The pitch from Brandon McCarthy is ripped. In the right field, that'll hop off the wall. Bounce to the right fielder as Patty will not stop at second base. He heads into third, slides, and he's in there with the triple. Patty O'Shea, the Irishman, coming up with his fifth triple of the year. He is now third in the National League in triples, only behind Jason Hayworth and Jimmy Rollins. So now bottom half of the sixth, 2-2 two -two tie, one out, nobody on, 3-1 count to Patty. The kick, and then the pitch from McCarthy. Could have been called a strike, but they do call it a ball, so Patty O'Shea draws a walk. A five-pitch walk. So he's on first, one out, nobody on, and Patty goes and swipes second base. Like he always does, Patrick O'Shea. That is his 20th stolen base of the season, only behind Eric Young Jr., EYJ, who has 29. And then he's in late years in front of Pedro I think it's Sirisau or Kirisau, something with five. And then Kelly Johnson with five. And then Patty tries to steal third. The ball is hit. Jump throw. And Patty advances home on the jump throw. So Patty scores on an attempted steal that blows up in the Dodgers' face. But he goes one for three on the day. He would have won him for four. Once again, another one-hit ball game. What's the deal? As that will wrap things up here for... Episode 10 of the Patrick O'Shea Road to the Show here in MLB 15 The Show. Patty is now at 86 overall and the second, the second best player in the Braves organization. If you ask me, that is absolutely ridiculous. It's uh, it's quite unrealistic and uh, I did call up quite, quite a bit too fast, but I'm not going to complain as I'd much rather be playing in the major leagues than grinding through the minor leagues for four years at a time. So, Patty O'Shea, episode 10 is wrapped up. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. For you to light and blue, there's nothing more a man could do. Don't get your bollocks and twist. Settle down, they'll take a fit. You drank with demons straight from hell. They almost nearly won as well. You wiped the floor with victory. The puked until you fell asleep. Oh, 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 oh,